when I work with people on their business, sometimes we talk about finances. And if someone has a pattern of financial issues, I find that there typically is one of two problems when it comes to thinking about money. They are either worrying about money too often, too much, and therefore the fear in their life, uh, anxiety and fear in their life, limits their creativity and prevents them from living at a higher potential, living and working from a higher potential and higher skill level. Uh, or, so they're either worrying about the money too much, thinking about it too often, or they are not thinking about money often enough and only think about it when there's a crisis situation. So there is a middle ground, and that's what I want to suggest to you today, which is a nice general rhythm to think about money is once a month. So once a month, you think about money and manage your money looking forward to the next month. So for example, for me, I manage my money around the 20th of each month, looking forward to the following month. And I will, so I have some bank account, you know, I have a business checking account, I have a personal checking account. The bills come out of mostly the personal checking account. And so, of course, my business, my business income comes into my business checking account. So once a month, as I look forward to the following month, I'll make sure that there's enough, I transfer enough money from the business checking account to the personal checking account so that the, so that it's, the bills will be paid properly. And I'll also make sure that any uh, additional money goes into my financial buffers to make sure that they still stay full. I talked about financial buffers in an earlier video, which I highly recommend that you go watch or uh, read the notes and, and start your financial buffers. Very, very important. I'll also make sure, well, so, so once I put enough money in my financial buffers, including my retirement savings, then I don't, I don't have to think about money again for the next 30 days. Uh, I don't have to worry about it. And that's the thing. It's like once you take the right actions, don't worry about the money anymore, okay? You just have to make a plan and take the actions. Now, if you find yourself saying, gosh, I don't have enough money for the following month, you really need to stop and say, why? And if, if this is happening to you again and again and again, you have a pattern of not thinking often enough about your money or not thinking about it in a way that is productive. You've got to sit down with yourself and say, all right, let me make a real plan. I'm not going to buy into any get-rich-quick schemes and, and believe, you know, uh, any, any, just keep doing the things that don't really create a sustainable, stable income. I'm going to look at the plan and say, what is a really stable way to earn enough income so that I don't have to worry about this month after month. Okay, so that's really important to kind of have that plan. But then once a month, do the money transfers or whatever you need to do so that your accounts have enough money to pay the bills and also have enough of the buffers that we talked about in an earlier video. Now, uh, some of you may need to stick to a budget, and that's really important. Your personal problems will not be solved by you spending more money. Okay. You may need to be working on your personal development, personal self, because that is all connected. Your money issues are tied to your personal development. It's tied to your time management. It's tied to your ability to plan in your business. Okay, So it's all, it's all tied together. But when it comes to spending, though, most of us can, afford, can really do well to spend less and find other ways to fulfill our needs that are less expensive. Um, and, you know, so, so that involved kind of spiritual growth or that involved community, being with other people and feeling, feeling fulfilled socially. So look, if you need to stick to a budget, then you need to think about money more than once a month. You may need to think about, look at your budget, take five minutes each day to look at your expenses. But that's it. Don't worry about it all the time. Just take five minutes each day, look at your expenses and adjust accordingly. So I know this is a lot to combine in a short video, but I hope that's helpful. I hope you got something out of it. I'm always open to your questions and comments. And until the next video, I wish you well.